fabric store, Joanne Fabric. I don't know if there's any up here or not. But um, bought the material to make the um, habit. Now, so that you know what's actually comprised here. Underneath the skirt, there is an underskirt, which we would call a slip. Okay? And underneath, or on top of that, there are the pockets <laughs> that my senior was talking about. And I have pockets under here. But they look like saddlebags, basically. If you know what they were when you rode horses around. And they do come down to your knees. And there, there's a vent in the side that you put your hand through the vent and right into the pocket. And you could put everything imaginable in those pockets, and we did. <laughs> okay, so that's sort of like where it arrived from. And what I'd like to say to you now is the um, top piece, the head piece, is comprised of a cornet, which is the place, the part that goes around your face, and the band, which goes across the top. And there is an under veil, which we called an under veil because it was underneath the top veil, which formed a triangle on the top band that was in honor of the Holy Trinity. So that's why we had the triangle there. Um, I don't know if they followed through. They probably did. I know we did at the Mother House, and I think they did it everywhere. But when you went to communion, after communion, you always put the top veil down, sort of like a privacy to, to have a little private talk with Jesus on your way back to your pew. And it stayed down till the communion verse. But it was flipped back ordinarily, okay, and pinned. Everything is pinned together, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's enough pins on here. To <laughs> but anyway, um, so basically that's the top part. The habit itself has a set of what we call plates. They're, they come, I don't know if you can see them or not, but they come across here, and they have seven pleats on either side of them. That's for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, to remind us of that. And then on the left-hand side, off of the cincture, there were two, like, you probably think of them as ropes, <laughs> Uh, it was the ends of the cincture. They have five knots in them. One piece has two knots and the other piece has three knots. That was for the five wounds of Jesus to remind us of that part of our belief. Um, the profession cross. Now, this didn't maintain all the way through. I know it was for us and it is for this particular example. But the, the profession cross ordinarily opened up. It had a little screw in the bottom, okay, and it opened. And people, sisters would put reliquaries in there. So particularly if you had a saint that you were named for, or even some uh, special saint of yours, if you had a relic of them, you could keep it in here to wear. And again, as a reminder of... Um, like I say, now, the, the later profession crosses didn't have this in it. And I think, they, actually, they, they stopped making them that way. But it was really nice because it was, again, a reminder of um, our vows, our profession, and what we were doing. Um, that's the way she looked <coughs> real holy going to church. When she worked, <laughs> okay, like doing dishes or something, we took the, the under veil... It's here and on this side, and pulled it back and pinned it so that the veil wouldn't catch in everything. Okay, and um, we'd if we were scrubbing the floor, we would take the skirt, pull it up and pin it in the back. Never the underskirt. <coughs> I guess the underskirt was allowed to get dirty. I don't know. But the skirt got pinned up. Um, I think that's about all there is to it. I don't know if there's anything. Sleeves. Oh, this. Yeah. Well. Unfortunately, our poor dear sister doesn't have any arms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> However, 